Hi, welcome to Sky Wandering. My name is Peter and today I am in the Indiana Dunes National Park and State Park that's also adjacent to here at the campground which is Dunewood Campground. I'm going to give you a complete campground tour of this campground. Now the first thing to share with you is the campground is just down that road. This is 12. There's the Goblin and the Grocer Cafe and Grocery Store over here. They got the Hobgoblin Wine Spirits and Beer. We've got gas station and a vintage store over here. So there's plenty of stuff right here and you go straight down there, about a mile, you get to the beach. Now they do tend to bounce back and forth between National Park and National Lakeshore. That sign said National Park. The sign up here says National Lakeshore. And so call it what you want. First thing you do when you get here, check in um, very nice hosts very helpful they'll get you set up they'll help you figure out what you're going to do with the next uh your, with your, help you figure out what to do with your time here let's go take a look at the campgrounds all right trails from here off the end of the campground not the actual loops but off the end where the dump station is there's a trail that runs out to meander the woods around the trail Head down Broadway, head over, find a nice parking spot in any of these that are all national parks. So you need your park pass and you can explore the trails out here. Uh, the Great Marsh Trail as well. And the 1933 Century of Progress Homes. We'll go take a look at those sometime in another video. Now the campground is divided into the Douglas Loop and the Mather Loop and also walk-in camp. Off that way, that way, is the dump station. Down, end of the road, turn around, come back. It's completely separate than the others. I'm gonna go down and check out the loops. Okay, already starting to see some campsites over there, but there is an amphitheater on the way in between the two loops. And something to be aware of, there is a commuter train that runs between here and the lakefront. So you might hear some train horns during commuter times. Okay, we're going to start with the Douglas Loop, which is sites 35 through 54. And the walk-in sites are back there at 55 through 67. And that's off to our left. And we're starting with 35, 36 over here, all very nicely paved pads. They're very specific, stay on the blacktop. The gravel on either side is for you to walk on. 37 is a little slope up, but then it is very flat where the airstream is. 38 over here, slight slope down, not bad at all though. Okay, 39, short pad, fairly wide here if you needed to go sideways, but it's a hike a little bit back to the fire pit, picnic table, and the uh, tent pad. 40 over here is a pull through. Forty-one is an accessible site near the restroom. 42 is another pull through. 43 on the left here, near the restroom again, but not set up as uh, just strictly an accessible site. It's flat once you get down here, but up here it's quite slopey. 44 over here, very flat throughout. I think I see a little trail going back, so there might be a tent pad behind there. 45, you got a flat spot, stairs up, and then you have your tent pad, picnic table, and fire ring. Okay, 46 here, just a nice, simple, basic site. A little longer than some of the others, all nice and flat. Then we get into the walk-in section over here. So there's a parking area up front. 
Let's see how many sites are hiding back there. I am not going to cover all of them. In fact, I may not cover any of them. So there is the cluster of sites. And we have a campground host just outside of this near the restroom. Across from that, there is a water fill. This is just to fill your jugs, your water tanks. Not a dump station here. Don't wash your dishes here. Now the bathrooms here, you got men's and women's entrance over here. This side is all showers and there is a sink set up for washing dishes. 47, across from that is a pull through the yellow tent hiding back there campground host is next to that okay i'm gonna have to show you 49 small parking area here since no one's here at the moment this one is not considered a walk-in it's more of a private walk-in Your own little meadow over here. And tent pad and fire ring up top. There's a trail leading to the neighbor's site too though. Across from that is 50 over there. None of these are huge sites. You'll notice the vehicles are all fairly small. 51 is a bit of a slope up a little step back to the picnic table and firing very small flat pad up top 52 is another pull through Fifty three over there see his little slopey going up, but then a flat spot up top for their trailer And I think Another water fill over here by the garbage. And then 54 is our last one in this loop. That's a wide pad. They don't have the restrictions that others do. And now at the first site, they have their greenhouse over their table. Okay, coming out of that loop, back on the main road coming in. I follow this around and it turns into the other loop. Alright, here's our split, 15 miles an hour, just in case you were wondering. And we are now at M1 over here, so the other loop starting here. And as you can see, we've got picnic table, fire ring, and lantern holder in all sites. Very flat, this is a wide one. Two is also a very wide pad, not very deep though. All right, site three here. Slide up, but then very flat once you get in there. Site four, very flat all the way back. No leveling blocks needed in here. Site five, you can see the truck's at angle, but the camper is fairly flat. Site six, dead flat. Beautiful little site back there. Site seven. Now these are backing up to the entrance road. It's not a big deal though. And we have another one of the fill stations here. Site eight, a little deeper than some and very flat. Site nine has got this wonderful little rig that has the Pan America Highway sign on the back. Wow, and also crossing Canada. So Newfoundland up to the Northern Point in Alaska and then all the way down and then back up, wow. Anyway, that's a hike. Where'd 10 go? Oh, 10 and 11 here. This is a pair, 10, 11. So you, they've shared an entrance and have their own space once you get back in there. All right, 12 here. 
kind of a unique corner site here very wide pad site 13 again a pretty wide pad here so some of these you might have to wind up with you know camper vehicle next to it to fit it all in Fourteen here again, very flat. Restroom is there. Fifteen is the accessible site near the restroom. Sixteen across from that slope up, and then a flat pad up top. Trail going into the restroom. Seventeen over here. As you can see, to fit, they had to unhook and cock the vehicle so these sites aren't very deep 18 over here now this one pads here and pick the table and fire ring are a little ways back down the hill from that is 19 wide pad again two spaces sideways so it'll probably be trailer car vehicle here if you needed that and a nestled in sight behind that 20 backs up to the restroom but you get the pad below stairs up to the picnic table and fire ring all right 21 over here fairly large space really wide and that one 22 A little again slope up but flat where their camper is I don't think anybody's have to do any leveling in their vehicles for in sleeping 23 this one's actually fairly long with the space off to the side 24. now we're on sort of the back side of the loop right now 24 slopes down and then flat I'm in 25 over there. I was warned that th during wet season, it may get wet. This one definitely looks like it would get wet if it's a wet season, if they're warning me about mine. So mine looks fairly long. I got 18. So you can do 25 or I mean, like 45 feet in here, flat down there, a little slope up. But look at the care that's been given to this site. It is beautifully raked, beautifully cared for. The fire pit is clean. No pile up there. Absolutely beautiful site out here. They're just very clear. Make sure you park on the pavement and not on the gravel. That is for walking. 26, again, fairly long pad like mine. Um, yeah, I think there's a trail behind the bathroom from that. 27 is a wide one. They got the double wide sight there. 29 is the uh, truck camper over here. 28 with pop up. And just like the other loop, we have bathroom men's and women's toilets on one side showers individual shower rooms on the other side all right 30 is the accessible site near the restrooms 31 is just a pull off to the side for the vehicle all right 32 over here on the left tucks away back in there now this one I see the vehicle up front way in the back I'll zoom in here is where the tent pad fire ring and picnic table are 33 over here nice flat spot here and the picnic table and fire ring are tucked behind the little hill there this is fairly wide crunchy crunchy 34 again double wide site so tent vehicle next to it if you need to 
and then picnic table and fire ring behind the barriers. So that's my tour of the camp, the national park campground here in Indiana Dunes National Park slash National Lakeshore slash State Park, which is within the national park. Now there is a campground over in the state park. I thought about staying there. Uh, it was a little less than here per site and they had electric. However, I would need to spend an extra $17 to pay for the state park parking pass. I don't have an Indiana State Park Pass this year. I focused on my Wisconsin and Michigan State Park Passes this year. So I chose to stay here because overall it was a little less and uh, there was no reservation fee for coming in here on top of the site. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you got to see what the campground's like. Check out my other video to see more about this park. Um, I'm going to be doing, I got a separate video on that. Um, it's the first of my series, this series, which is a lap around Lake Michigan. I'm not doing Lake Michigan Circle Tour. I'm bouncing around and trying out as many different water-based campgrounds as I can. This one just isn't really on the water, but we're going to go visit the water. And you can see that in my other video on this park. Thanks for coming along. I'll see you in the next one. Get on out there. Thanks for watching.